we're back. Let's just do this real quick. Let's see around. I was surprised we lived, luckily. I guess thanks to Eureka being awesome. Regardless, we'll go the old-fashioned way for now since I'm just trying to survive. Dang, Seth's class looks like it's broken. Ah, oh, come on, no real moves. But now I already know who I'm gonna make my last endgame team. So I'm gonna need them for the actual reasons we're playing through the sack. Other than to at least have a sacred stones like play through on the champ for actually even consider doing the official sacred stones. Just for your experience. Free experience for our boy. So he's gonna need all the experience he can get. At least he has some speed, that's what I'm needing. Start building up more on their support because I know I'm gonna try and use Seth better. Still thinking, so I know Nosferatu tanking is gonna probably be a big thing in this game. I don't know, did he like not set them to come after you? Speed! Try it now. Damn, they are not attacking. I don't understand why. Ah, well, Nimi at least got that kill. And that five gold for it. Nice, I level up. Decent. Got that kill. At least they don't double us yet. I gotta remember, is there a way to get 15 supports for everything? 
We'll figure that out later on in the game. Regardless, we're almost through. Now they're starting to attack, finally. Ha! That didn't even hit. As much as we want to kill him, I want to at least get Ross up there first. You know, up to, like, the level that I needed. <laughs> Oops. That actually hit, though. Wow. At least one fourth of a chance of always getting a critical. That's good. sure they were making a way to get through this. Whoa. He restored himself. Alright, now let's try it. Because it looks like Ross has to get about 20 kills to get, you know, what he needs a uh, promotion. the incomplete, you know, the not full health bars have a blue look to them. That's a nice aesthetic right there. Slowly getting through. We doing what we can do. Dang, these guys do not want to attack or something. Let's try moving a bit closer. Nami's slowly getting showing why she's useful. Huh, I just noticed that that does a little warning. It's pretty cool. Dang. At least that was a kill. Remember those lower hitting crits in this hack. It's basic Japanese version. This reminds me randomly. The man that made that Yggdra Union hack for um, Fire Emblem is making the nameless heroes. Which I just can't wait for. Man, because all the portraits on it look nice. 
still wonder why Seal, I think, yeah, his name is Seal, is the creator of this hack. Still wonder why he chose this secret. Why did he choose to just, like, with the way the maps are done, he could have easily made this an original thing with no, with all original characters, you know, his own original ROM hack. I do wonder why he used all sacred stones and stuff. Because it's basically a whole new game with a fresh coat of paint. Regardless, though, I guess it makes sense in that it's quicker. So it apparently took him two years to create this hack. Dang. Okay. It also looks like you don't gain experience from them attacking you. Nice, we at least got some strength. That's what matters. I'm gonna get that treasure chest first. Then, we'll finish off the map. We could also use those guys to quickly train Ross some more though. It's probably going to be the plan. Because remember, he just needed simple 20 kills. Well, 20 to 30, give or take. To get straight into the next level. Locks this door. Good thing there's no ambush. I even got some coins off it. Nice! Come on, get a critical. Ah, oh, no critical. Not even a moist critical. Ugh, sorry, like, I was just dozing off because I'm an idiot, but still. We're going straight through this, and we'll finish him. That will give us closer to the next level. That'll be useful for the future. Downside, it's gonna cost him death. Well, 
but so we can at least do good for him. Crit salute right there for her actually causing her damage. It's quite the way to end life, I guess, if it's um, ending my life. Alright, new look, sir. Where the convoy is an amazing thing. Finish him off with this. Yeah. That finishes him off right there. Basil's been taken down. Now, Eureka, let's hope you get a good level up, girl. Wow. I have literally been screwed this entire time. A dragon's here. We're gonna have to give that one to Ross. And I give it to Eureka. Oh, a sport. With Seth. Of course he's been protecting you. He's the Silver Knight, the best unit ever. Yeah, but it's better to see it now. Just as Eddie from that and Eddie said um, before, you know, a little bit try, yeah, a little bit childhood trauma builds character. Wow, it's flicker of pain in your face. So she's trying to treat a wheel, uh, what's called a healed wound. I guess she really doesn't want to get sued. Heh. <laughs> oh, damn, I forgot about that um, chest over there. Sorry about it. I am so disoriented right now. I'll take care of that right there and then we'll let him steal nice angelic road and now she cries I got a mirror at the least. Oh, dang, Seth. 
Oh, Seth. Dang, Seth is ruthless. Yes, might as well take us in. Dang. Let's hope you don't regret it. Yeah, because that thing's um, to the sacred stone. Yeah, it's the beginning of a long, long playthrough. So yeah, we did it. And now we meet the generals of Grado. Dual Cell and Selena. I remember Selena, I thought she was like a, when I first saw her as a kid, I thought she was like a man. Then it turns out, no, that's a chest and earrings. And it's like, oh, that's a lady. So, yeah, it looks like um, they're still talking and contemplating. But remember, the guard's dead, and that's just a, that's like a morph, basically. So yeah, it's gonna be a big war. Unfortunately for her, she's too loyal. Yep. Kalash, Volter, and I forgot the other guys. Reeve. Kalash! Heh. <laughs> and Volter. Balls are such a cool character, honestly. Yeah, they'll get free of the sacred stone. All right. So yeah, they gotta take down Eureka. Continue on. The Zaha Woods. So, yeah, we're closer to Rado's border. So this is where we get Arthur and um, Roots. Yep. It should be Fog of War soon. Yep. Oh, dang. She probably knows why. 
We have the Revenants. Dang, she even memorized um, the exact thing. But yeah, it's basically giving us like a tutorial on how they fight. That's a good point. I mean, remember, one of the only ways you can damage Superman is through magic, for instance. That's just an example. There you go, that's the logic. He's honorable. That's a good point. Even that they're legends, if they're right there trying to kill you, that kind of points out they're real. Oh snap. Hey, you want that kill? Huh. Now we finally have the support chart thingy. That is why I stopped dropping people. But for now, I think I'm going to end it for now since. This is going to take quite some time. Regardless, everybody. Thank you all for watching this little short part. I'm trying to keep it at least within the half hour mark after all. So yeah, unless it's like a big mission or a big chapter. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Until the next part, goodbye.